I love to see that people are using uh, the code I wrote. Every now and then I came across a video or a project which has my code in it. And that makes me happy. I hope people will also use this. This dial can be used to control different devices like motors, fans, lights and so on. But I don't have a plan to control anything using this. I had a few ideas and I wanted to check will I be able to implement them on this development board which is of course Lelego T-Display S3 AMOLED. The first idea was to make text that can change size. You can see how this text is getting, for example, let me see. For example, uh, this 35 is getting bigger and bigger. And it is the biggest in the middle. Another idea is to make it uh, white, completely white in the middle of the screen and darker at the edges. edges. And last I wanted to check how, how the rotary encoder will work with this board. In this video I will show you how I managed to change size and uh, color of the text and how to work with rotary encoder. You can find this code in description and you can even try this project without rotary encoder if you don't have one because values can be changed using these two built-in push buttons also. I love when others use my work, but to be honest, I also love to see that my channel is growing and I also love to earn few dollars more. I'm not gonna lie to you. So if this video is helpful to you or fun, you can also help me. You can subscribe, you can watch more of my videos, you can buy this board using uh, my affiliate link, you can find that link in description. You can buy me a coffee or you can just simply leave a comment or like. Thank you. And this is a site uh, I use when I need some cool font. Here I need to set type of display. Here I need to choose font I used in this project. I need to choose GFX font and here I here I can uh, choose size of my font and it is easy generate and I need to copy this to some header file here is my header file and here is data so here is trick then I increased the size to 17 and copy also this in same file and then I increase to 80 and I did this 60 times so in this header file which is huge more than 10,000 lines I have fonts from size 16 to size 65 uh, uh, 16 to uh, size 75 and then I create this uh, array to place all these fonts or pointers to that phone that fonts in a same array so I can easily access them by this index so you can see how large this file is but I was surprised that 
there is still plenty of space in uh, memory. So this sketch use only 20% of program space. And now when I have my fonts from size 60 to size 75, in code I can, let me see, I can uh, use map function to choose uh, which font uh, to use if position is closer to middle this is the middle of the screen I will use a larger font and if I'm at the beginning of the screen I will use smaller font and this is a site I use to choose colors for my project and you can notice that each color is combination of red, green and blue but you can also notice that in this case we need only colors from black to white so we need a different shade shades of gray and these colors from black to white have always same amount of red green and blue so if I can for example in loop full function increment this number I can store some number of grays in some sort of array and let's see the code here is my array in that array which is called grace uh, I will store 101 color from darker to to white in setup part of code here is loop uh, here is for function which will uh, slowly increment this number and using this function so this number represent red green blue using this function we will store that shade of gray in this array these rotary encoders are great for this kind of projects uh, they also have a push button and they are easy to use rotary encoder have three pins middle pin is connected to ground and side ones are directly conne connected to gpio pins on development board in my case these pins are pin 46 and 45 on opposite side there are additional two pins used for push button one of the pin goes to ground and other goes to gpio in my case pin one you will also need to install library for rotary encoders and you can find that link in description and that's it i hope this video was useful i hope you learned something i'm aware that this is not the best explanation but i hope you will use this concept or ideas thank you for your time please leave a comment like and please subscribe thank you goodbye